Hello, in this video I will demonstrate 5 free macros which allow you to polish your SOLIDWORKS model and make it look prettier. This model has some custom properties, it is also using sheet metal and has some cut lists. We'll start by downloading a macro from a code stack library. You can select from the multiple macros available there, but we'll start by downloading the macro to hide or show sketches in the SOLIDWORKS document. Go to sketch section open hide all sketches and just copy the code and paste it in our macro in SOLIDWORKS. Before doing this, I'm just going to quickly explore sketches in this model. So we can see there are a few sketches which are visible and some of them are hidden. SOLIDWORKS allows to toggle the visibility of sketches with this option. However, this option will not show the sketches which are explicitly hidden in the feature tree. Let's create new macro, give it some name and paste the code from our buffer. The reason option is this macro allows to either hide or show all sketches. Let's firstly set this option to false to show all sketches. And as a result, you can see that all the sketches in the model have been shown. Let's continue and change this option to true in order to hide all sketches. And now all the sketches are hidden. Let me continue and show you another macro which allows to easily sort custom properties either in ascending or descending order by name. Let's activate the library page, jump to custom properties section, sort custom properties macro and copy code in a similar way. We can now go back to SOLIDWORKS, create new macro, give it a name something like sort custom properties, paste the code and simply click run button to execute that code. We can now validate the result and you can see all the properties have been sorted and all the values and expressions preserved. Let's continue. Usually when modeling in SOLIDWORKS you may have features removed, reordered or renamed. This will make some features in your feature tree skip some indices or have an incorrect order. Like in this case, boss extrude 4 appears after boss extrude 5 and boss extrude 3 is missing. Let's now download the macro which allows to rename features sequentially. In a similar way, we will copy the code from here and paste it in our macro in SOLIDWORKS. When we run the macro, all the base name for features will be preserved while indices will be sorted. And as a result, all the feature names are now sequential. Let me now demonstrate you a couple of macros to prettify cut list and flat pattern features. As you know, cut list item can define custom properties. And it could be very handy to rename the cut list items after the custom properties. In this case, all cut list items contain part number property, which is a unique identifier for each element. And it would be very handy to have cut list named after that property. Fortunately, we have a macro for that. Let's navigate to the part section of code stack library. I should note that SOLIDWORKS has an option to rename cut list items for weldment and sheet metal with a description property. But this macro provides more flexibility as you can combine several properties and also add a free text. We can configure the name in template and also the property scope here. So first I'm just going to use one single property part number and I also want to use that one to rename our cut list. So I'm just going to modify my name template. Now let's run this macro. So let's inspect our feature manager tree. So as you can see all the cut list items are renamed after the part number custom property. We can take one step further and also rename the sheet metal flat patterns with the name of the corresponding cut list. We need to copy the code for rename flat pattern after cut list macro in the code stack library.
As it is not possible to have two features with the same name, this macro requires us to specify the suffix for renaming our flight patterns. I'm just going to use the default option provided in this macro, which is underscore FP, which stands for flat pattern. And now all of our flat patterns have been renamed after the cut list. Now it is much easier to inspect this sheet metal model. Links to download those macros are provided in the description. Thank you for your time.